How's it going everybody, NobleWarrior99 here, and today I am back with another Destiny video. Now today guys, I am going to be showing you how to cheese the abyss or the lamps as many other people would call this. Now this is the first part of the Crotus End raid, and I will be showing you how to get past it and get easy rewards. So if, if you guys do enjoy this video, then make sure to smash that like button down below, as it really does help me out. It does take me a few hours to edit these videos, and if you guys uh, do smash that like button, it only takes you about one second. So let's get into the video. Now after you reach the second lamp and it, and it explodes, um, you will get launched onto this platform. Now this platform is just another area, and I'll speed it up here. You will have a, a lot of the weight of darkness, so you will move very slow, so that's why I'm speeding it up here. But you, but you just want to keep following this path. This is pretty much just taking you back to the beginning area, except you are a level higher. So it's after the uh, part where you have to go up the mountain, um, and then you have to get past these holes. So as you guys see here, there is one knight, you just have to wait. This guy was kind of funny, he was just stomping around. But after you get a headshot on him, you kill him instantly. Um, and then you can just keep going. So this glitch is very awesome, it's very easy to do. I am a hunter, so I just went invisible in the beginning. Um, but any warlock or titan can do this as well. And as you guys see here, none of the thralls are chasing me, they all despawned for some reason. And this is the last part, um, but this is where it gets a bit tricky. So what you guys have to do is come over to this first lamp. Now after you guys activate it, you just want to hide behind uh, one of these rocks. Um, this is the rock that you're going to be getting onto later, but I'm just going to hide behind here and you can just wait for this to go off. Do not activate the center platform to activate the bridge or this will not work. So after this lamp explodes right here, you will need to head back to the rock that I showed you previously. Now I'm just going to kind of go over there um, after I activate the center platform um, and this will only work if it says fire teams revives re-enabled um, and that's just when you know that you did it correctly. So once you stand on this rock it will uh, not allow any of the thralls to come get you and then the ogre will spawn. Now I have a icebreaker in icebreaker I actually got it from the exotic chest in the very beginning so I was very excited for that. But as you guys see right here, the ogre, I'm getting crit hits on him, and then after you kill the ogre, the bridge should be clear. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't uh, don't believe is that the center platform will not um, activate the bridge unless you are standing on it, but that is incorrect. You can just sit down, do a little dance here, um, and it's absolutely amazing. You get free loot. I got uh, some, the dogged gauge and some radiant shards earlier. I'm actually very close to my level 32 hunter um, and I actually found a new chess piece as well although I did have it previously um, in my other videos so if you guys enjoyed my video then definitely make sure to smash that like button down below as it really does help me out also if you guys are new to my channel and you guys enjoy daily destiny then definitely make sure to subscribe as I do post the best and um, most amazing daily destiny content in all the lands thank you guys once again very much for watching this is Noble Warrior 99, and I'm out. Peace.